Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So today we'll take a look at my latest project. It is a bit crazy, I'll admit that, but it's also quite fun. It is a 1.8 kilowatt LED flashlight, so that's 1800 watts of power. And let's just say it's quite bright. As some of you might know, I've been working on something <laughs> secret for quite some time now, actually since the beginning of November last year. But I had all sorts of problems on the way, some failed components and limited time. But I'll tell that story at the end of the video if you're interested. But let's just quickly go through it and then we'll go outside and uh, light something up. So on the front here we have 18 of these 100 watt LEDs. And 12 of them have these uh, focusing lenses on them. Because the LEDs spread the light almost 180 degrees. So I use these to focus the light into a tight beam so it can shine further away. I originally had few of these focusing lenses only on the top row here, but the light in front of you was just so bright that uh, you actually got blinded by the reflections, so I had to add more of these. I could even add them on the rest without the light in front of you being <laughs> dim in any way. But we'll see that when we go outside. It has two massive heat sinks because uh, 1800 watts creates a lot of heat, of course. I added these two fans, but I haven't actually hooked them up yet because the battery life isn't so long that it uh, overheats if you just take a short break. It can be on at full power for 10 to 15 minutes, I think it is. The entire battery pack here is 5.2 amp hours at 44.4 volts. Uh, nominal, it goes up to over 50 volts, but. The nominal is 44.4. It then has four of these uh, boost converters to provide the power for the LEDs. These are rated at 600 watts each. And they are set up to power four LEDs each, except one of them powers six LEDs. And they handle that just fine. I have some battery monitors on the batteries here. And then we have the on-off switches. I have the entire top row on one switch here, and then the other two are for the rest of the LEDs. Before we go outside, let's try and do a test uh, inside the lab here, uh, to see how much light this can output. I have a lot of light in this room actually, about 900 lux on the tabletop, and that comes from uh, three of these fluorescent tubes just above the bench. It is way more than you would normally have. But uh, since I'm doing electronics and small parts and stuff, I like to have a lot of light. But in a normal living room, this can be as low as about 50 lux. So I put the light meter over there at the laser cutter. And uh, I'll turn off the lights in here, or most of it. So that we can compare it to a actually quite bright LED flashlight that you would normally carry outside. And you can see that puts out about 200 lux at approximately a 2 meter distance when it's not uh, focused in. And if we zoom into a very tight beam, you can see it's around 2000 lux. And that was a distance of about 2 meters. So now let's try the uh, 1800 watt flashlight. And you can see now it says uh, 323, but it's times 100. <laughs> so it's insanely bright. So that's more than 30,000 lux at a two meter distance. And as you can see here, we're able to see quite well down to about 10 lux. But it is a bit dark then. So here I'm just shining the small flashlight you saw around so you can see the difference compared to the big one which will be turned on now. And you can see it's bright at first, but then it turned down because of the auto exposure of the camera. And here goes the next set of LEDs. And this is full power. I'm sorry it doesn't really make that much of a difference in the camera, but uh, it does in real life. But you can see it's it's kind of bright.
So here I'm zooming in a bit so you can see the the difference. And I'm running. And just to demonstrate that the dynamic range of the camera isn't really that good, I walked uh, to good 100 meters now, I think, and it's still very visible. As you can see, the light is down there. So here I'm just setting a manual exposure on the camera. So now you can see that it's actually very bright in front of the flashlight. And now we just move to a different location. It's a bit more open, the area, so we can get a, a better distance. So this is probably some of the better shots right here. So the flashlight is approximately 200 meters in that direction. And here you can really see how far it can actually shine. Of course it's much brighter uh, close to the flashlight but you can easily see far away. Uh, the camera doesn't really do that good of a job but at least here you can see what I'm talking about. Here you can see the bush is very dark, but when you zoom in, it's easily visible. So, I hope you like the demonstration outside, even though I don't think this camera gives it the the credit that it really deserves. It's because the dynamic range of the camera is not as good as our eyes. So when you see it through the camera, the ground in front of the LED flashlight seems very bright. And then as the distance increases, it looks like it goes so dark pretty fast, but it actually doesn't do that in real life. I will estimate you're able to see about one kilometer actually far ahead and uh, at an angle at about I don't know, 60, 90 degrees in front of you. But then you can't look at the ground right in front of you because then you'll be blinded by the light and uh, and your vision will be blown out for a few minutes. But anyway, I hope you liked it. If you want to see exactly how I made this flashlight, then I'll release some videos uh, in the following weeks of the build of it. So mostly the mechanical parts because there's not that much electronics. 
but things like how I mounted it on the heat sinks and how I made the handle and how the electronics is wired and all that stuff. I'll also put out a video about these uh, 100 watt LEDs that not all of them are created equal because uh, when you look at it the quality of them varies a lot. I'll also put the links in the description and at the end of the video. But uh, now back to that story that I promised you. So if you have been following my channel you'll have seen these batteries and especially the converters a long time ago. And I actually started planning this project in the beginning of November. I watched a video by a YouTuber named AVE where he made a 75 watt flashlight, a very robust and rigid one that you could drive over with your truck. And then I watched another video by a guy called DIY Perks. He made one with a single LED and there wasn't really anything else there so I thought hmm, why not make something a bit more powerful. So I decided to go and make an 800 watt LED flashlight. So basically using a single of these uh, heat sinks. I got the heat sinks a few months in advance not really knowing what I was going to do with them but they were at my local uh, scrapyard so I just picked them up. Then in the middle of November I think it was I went and ordered the stuff that I needed some converters and the LEDs and the batteries. But I think about a week after I ordered the parts actually a friend of mine sent me a link to a flashlight built by RC Test Flights. It was a 1000 watt LED flashlight which was the brightest one on YouTube at that time. So then I was like, eh, no, mine isn't going to be the brightest anymore. So I decided to upgrade and uh, go full ass on this one. And uh, now it's 1800 watts. Which is, at the time of this video, the brightest one that I could find on the internet. And by the way, I really urge you to go and watch the video by RC Test Flight. I'll also put that in the description. Because he has some very cool footage of his flashlight. He goes to this beautiful mountainside and lights it all up and he has some aerial footage where he uh, films it with a quadcopter and stuff like that. It's very nice to watch. But anyway, then I had to wait for the parts to arrive and uh, it was, I think, middle of December until I got the last parts. And then I had a problem with one of the batteries. It uh, decided to swell on me and I made a video about this. It's not that bad anymore that you can see it but basically one of the cells failed and it uh, swelled up and damaged another one so I couldn't use the battery. So I had to make an RMA with uh, Hobby King where I bought these batteries and uh, actually something went wrong with that RMA so they didn't uh, come back to me. Uh, I wrote them an email and they were very sorry about uh, the mistake and uh, I got a new uh, battery except they didn't have any in stock so <laughs> I could either choose to wait for it or get my money back. So I got my money back and I bought uh, two uh, free cell batteries instead of a six cell. They weren't that much more expensive. But then in January I had exams and I didn't really have time to work on it. And I decided I needed uh, more of these focusing lenses because the light was just like in front of the flashlight and you would get blinded by the reflection on the ground. So I had to wait for those, but I didn't have time to work on it anyway, so I waited for those. And then in February we had very bad weather. It was like cold and raining, snowing all the time, or foggy, so I couldn't uh, get any good distance with the light. But finally in March I was able to uh, get it out and get some uh, decent video of it. So that's kind of why it took so long before you saw anything. I hope you don't mind though and uh, if you like the video please uh, like it and subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and uh, and you're probably going to ask what the hell I'm gonna do with it and nothing really it's just for the bragging rights so but I will definitely keep it in one piece I kinda like it actually now that it's done and if you were wondering about the weight of this thing, it's around uh, eight and a half kilos with the batteries. So, thanks for watching this video, and I will see ya.